studio and what we're gonna do today is take a look and see exactly what the students are doing. So you see that they've got these skulls. They're trying to reproduce these skulls in water-based clay as faithfully as they possibly can. Over the next few weeks, you're gonna see that these are gonna change. But I tell the students, before we make changes, you have to understand the form before you can manipulate the form. Each student has a particular idea or a theme that is going to be manifested in what they create. So stick around. I'm excited, they're excited. We hope you enjoy the videos. Oh, so I was really interested in the way uh, action scenes in movies, comics, uh, anime, and uh, shows make us feel. So pretty much with the skull, I was just gonna make it basically look like it went through all those action scenes and was basically the guy who got beat up in every single action scene. So I was just gonna put a bunch of like battle damage, like uh, just chipping on the skull and pretty much just uh, take chunks out of the skull as I, uh, you know, got closer to uh, finishing it. All right, that sounds good. Thank you, Ezra. Oh. All right, so now we've got Julian. And Julian, can you tell us what you're trying to do? So basically my theme is about the connection between physical and mental journeys. And my skull is going to be inspired by the crystal skull from Indiana Jones. So um, when we get closer to the end, I'm going to extend it quite a bit and maybe exaggerate some of the features in the eyes. We've got Janesha and uh, Janesha, tell us what you're trying to do. I'm trying to make a skull based off of music. So right now it's just regular, but my sketches shows like kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna sculpt the eyes to make the music notes. And I'm gonna put, it's basically the idea of the way music affects us mentally and the healing acts the healing aspect, so I'm gonna put cracks in the skull and put like band-aids over it. And I'm gonna carve like my favorite musicians hmm. in the back of the head. Probably my own rap name. What and is your rap name? It's Poetic Nene. All right. That's basically it. All right, so we got Jaden. Jaden, you wanna tell us what you're doing? So my idea for my skull is I'm going to capture the mystery of fantasy and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna base it off of is a demi witch. I'm gonna put gems in the eyes, I'm gonna put uh gonna open the the jaw, have it standing up, and have an eye in the mouth. Okay, what what's a demi lich? A demi lich is the remnants of a lich, which is like a necromancer, like a really powerful necromancer. Okay. So it's gonna encapture its mysticalness and um, its ghoulishness. It's gonna be more, it's gonna be like a ghost, like the floating skull. All right, thank you, Jaden. All right, so now we've got Diary. Come on, Diary, huh? Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing, my topic is based off of Christianity. And so I had two choices between whether I wanted to make the skull look like it was touching life or to make it look like what sin really looked like. So I chose the sin part, so what I'm going to be doing, I might add flesh, but my main goal right now is to make it look like it's decaying. So kind of like, almost like a burnt type decaying, but it's going to look kind of rotten, there's going to be like torn pieces, it's going to look burnt, and it's going to probably look rotten around the jaw and eyes and stuff, just to look like it's catching hellfire. Alright, thank you Dariana.